What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Headed to the pool here. As you can see, the beautiful, lovely pool. Oh my gosh. When I come up here, I sometimes have a little flashback of when I first arrived here. And, uh, well, actually the second time I was here picking out my, uh, or talking about my lot and positioning and everything, I parked my Happy Haven right here overnight. And that was, well, that was in the fall a year ago. And, uh, yeah, I just love coming up here. Finally got a bathing suit, so I'm ready to take a dip. I had, uh, given my bathing suit away. It was feeling old and I don't know, time for some new. So I'm gonna get in the water here, cool down a little bit. It's only about <laughs> 90. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. Nobody here, hope you'll join me. Here, serene and simple life. I'm at the pool. I finally got myself to the pool. Well, I needed a bathing suit first. <laughs> I gave away my bathing suit before the season started. And it is absolutely beautiful here. Oh my gosh. Just beautiful. Yeah. Come on over and join me at the pool. I've already been in. in. Did a little bit of swimming, not too much. <laughs> like maybe one pool length. But one pool length is better than no pool lengths, right? So, I don't know. I'll hang here a couple hours. Not sure exactly how long I'll be here. And uh, it's just really nice. There's nobody here. Got the place to myself. Not sure what I'm gonna do when I get back, but I don't know. It's a very hot day. I'm putting in like three, four hours a day on my digital albums. I'm actually working on two simultaneously right now, and I've got three more in the works. So, just gonna sit here in the shade. And uh, I brought a book, I brought a cut up apple, and some almonds, and just gonna sit here and listen to the birds. And when I get too hot, I'll take a dip Here's in the my pool. sweet little spot underneath the umbrella. I debated because I really wanna get some tan. Got my cute little bag. Daughter got me this years ago. Gone surfing. And I just have a cover up. I've got a book here that I haven't started. Beautifully interrupted. When God holds the pen that writes your story. I don't know if my sister gave me that or who. I can't remember. But I might get into that. I might not. I might just veg for a while. And I uh, hope you're enjoying your day too. Gorgeous pool. Beautiful amenities here. One of the first things that attracted me to this place was the amenities. Just planted these flowers recently. And uh, over here is the pavilion, which has a little heating table here that you can it runs by propane. I never knew about those before. And of course, had the friends up here for a, a cookout and we've had a couple community cookouts and then there's the TV. And down below here, we've got the, uh, another nice little heating table there and uh, fun chairs hammock yeah 
Gotta love it. If and when I move, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss these amenities, that's for sure. I might have to get myself a little wading pool. <laughs> or, God willing, I'll be close enough to drive to the beach. That would be awesome. So, all right, we're just gonna chill now. Chill some more. I just got situated here on the lounge chair. And now I'm just debating as if I wanna move or not. I don't know. I kind of want to be in the sun, but they say you can get what well, you can get suntan in the shade too. I was always, always a sun worshiper. So far, so good, except for the alligator skin. Oh, well, the chances we take in life, right? So I know if I get in the sun, I'll want to get back in the pool in like two seconds. I don't know. I think I'm going to move. I'm here to get sun. I'm not going to be out here all day. You know, I am in here in the hottest part of the day, or I guess when the sun is the, the rays are the strongest, what, 11 to 3? So, playing with my hair now. I'm, I've decided I'm just going to, for the time being, while it's so hot, I'm not going to straighten it. I'm just going to let the waves do their thing. And hopefully with this new cut with the bob, it's, it's a long bob that um, the waves will make it look okay. Put a, Maybe put a little styling cream in it or something. But um, it feels good. Not too short, not too long. Don't really have a lot going on. Just, just hanging out and thinking about the future. Thinking about possibilities. And if my home sells, you know, I had somebody come by the other day. I haven't heard back from them yet. It's only been a day, so I'm hanging out with hope. Always hope. But, um, yeah, if they uh, come through, oh, there's a chance I could... God has that piece of dirt with my name on it, and I could get my cabin ordered. I might be able to be in my new home by Christmas. That would be so exciting. You know, there's been some criticism, you know. People think I haven't been here that long, and it's almost a year now. So that's kind of bizarre. And the people that I talk to, I'm like, what am I doing? Because they loved it here, especially here at the pool. And I said, what am I doing to them? And they're like, and she said, I don't know. What are you doing? And then without missing a beat, she said, next chapter. And I was like, thumbs up all over that. Next chapter. I mean, who wants to, not me, maybe some people, but I don't, I don't want to live my rest of my life just in one place. I just know that for a fact. Now, who knows, you know, when I own this land and I can travel, meet new friends, go out there and make a difference, hopefully God will use me all for his glory by meeting people and talking about Christ and talking about what he's done for me in my life. I could go out and be used by him, get Say It, display it in more gift stores, pass on that encouragement and that empowerment to other people. That's going to be a good thing. And I might just end up staying put for the rest of my life because I won't be staying put, I'll be traveling. And that's the difference between leasing and owning your own land and being able to go when you're on a bit of a budget. You know, I don't have endless money by any stretch of the imagination. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. And I'm looking forward to it. Let me show you the sky. It's so pretty. Yeah, there's the sky. As I was looking up talking to you, I was like, I got to show them the sky. It's just so nice here. 
and my videos are a little bit ways out you know they're a little bit far out because I'm just not gonna be posting every day or every other day I did that for the longest time and it didn't really do anything to the channel as far as growing it it just created tons more work so I think I'm still at two a week I don't know if I'll up it to three or not but you know when I get back on the road I'll be showing you where I travel and I'm gonna be doing some little I don't know psychology 101 things I've learned through the years just talk to you about different things maybe that'll help grow the channel too I really appreciate those of you who share this channel with other people and uh, let them know about a serene and simple life. It's really, it's, it's, you're quite the blessing and, I, and I'm so grateful. I think I'm gonna move into the sun now. Beautiful backdrop here. I thought you might like to see this bathing suit. It gives you good coverage, you know? I've not had a one piece like this in, I don't know, forever. So it, it kind of has like a little skirt to it and holds the stomach in and <laughs> so yeah, I'm pleased with it. I like the color, it's coral. And then the back is, is cute too. And I'll give you a little fashion show here just to show you what an older lady can wear. <laughs> Although I don't consider myself old. It's a state of mind, right? I uh, ordered off of Amazon. I only looked at a couple. And I did look at a couple other bathing suit sites. Um, I don't know. A, a couple uh, sites that my daughter had on Pinterest. And they just looked a little too, I don't know, too young. I debated about getting all flowery. And, and I was like, no. And then I debated about getting black. And I was like, no, I've done black before. I'm going to do a happy color. So even though I'm still looking to get a little trimmer here and walking every day, for the time being, I'm happy. Uh, there was a comment made, too, that like you could probably literally wear this to the store. You know, I'd probably put a little tank top on or something. But, you know, good for running out. Um, or like if you're in a beach town, um, it's good coverage. I wasn't too crazy about these thick straps because I want the, the suntan, but um, I can, guess I can just pull it down like that to get the sun. So there you have it. I debated about whether I'd show you or not, and then I was like, why not? And then you can put in the comments what kind of bathing suit you like. Or I used to have like those tankinis, you know, covered the stomach and then, they were two pieces. This is hard to get down and back up. <laughs> Too much information. It kind of sticks. It has like a shorts underneath it, but it's all one piece. And then it and actually has a fabric underneath this piece too. So it goes all the way up. And um, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's, it's sucking me in where I want it to suck in a little bit. And uh, I just have to remember to hold my stomach in too. <laughs> there you have it. Up close and personal. Just did a little skim of this book. Just didn't get into reading it today. Living the life she thought she never wanted with an art history degree and dreams of living in Europe as a curator. She had big plans. She had no desire to have kids, but that all changed. I love this. Give your plans back over to Christ and allow him to form a new thing within your life. Allow yourself to be beautifully interrupted. Wow. Joy isn't found when your situation is perfected. Joy is experienced when your perspective is shifted. Circumstances can crush your soul or be a catalyst for joy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have learned that faith means trusting in advance what will only make sense in reverse. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. This is awesome. I'm going to dig into it. Not today, but soon. Maybe my next pool date with myself. One more thing. Look at the deer. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Wow. 
right there behind the tree. Oh, look. I don't know if you can see because I can't see. There it goes. Running, running, running. Wow, middle of the day. Time to go home. I'm not sure why. It's not like I have anybody waiting for me. <laughs> Probably just have that feeling that it's uh, been enough sun. Don't really want to sit here in the shade. Although maybe another time I will come up here, prop my feet, you know, read a book here. Maybe uh, bring up a uh, hamburger or a hot dog. Have a little, have a little cookout. I was gonna tell my neighbor I was coming up today, and then I was like, no, I just want the place to myself. She was busy doing some landscaping. So, yep, it is time to go home, get out of the sun, and get into the air conditioning. So, this is something that I really want to make an effort to do on a regular basis, like every day, every other day. I don't want to burn out from the fun. But this is this has been so joyful today. And speaking of joy, I wish you joy in however you are staying cool. However you can stay cool. And blessings in your day and joy in your journey and in your next chapter.